Before we begin, click subscribe to stay up to date with all of our newest video content. This is Sean Slavin. The knowledge chip from CS3 today is an introduction to Business Insights Explorer. The Business Insights Explorer is an often underused feature found in every copy of Sage 100. This dynamic tool is designed to help you unlock the data in your ERP system and learn more about your business. The tool can be found in one of two ways. First, under each module, there's an Explore menu and this will list all the views that are applicable to that particular module. Also, there's a Business Insights module that under its Explorer menu, you'll find a list of all the views that are available throughout the entire system. To understand a little bit more about the Business Insight Explorer, let's go into the Customer View found underneath AR and get a little bit more better understanding of how the system works. On the left-hand side, you'll see a navigation pane. Across the middle is the data view. This grid is where we're going to do most of our work. Below is the preview window. We'll talk more about that in just a few minutes. When the view first comes open, this provides us a list of every customer available within the ABC company. In this case, there are 17 customer records. The window is now showing us total open AR plus the current balance and the various aging buckets for each customer. This in essence recreates an AR aging report at a summary level. We can with a few clicks of a button add totals for each one of the buckets that give us an idea that we have an outstanding balance of $693,748.75 on all of our open AR. I can tell that Maverick Paper does not owe us anything, but that Shepherd Motor Works has the highest balance of $513,339.95. If I wanted to understand a little bit more about that balance, I can go over on the navigation pane and click on Open Invoices under the Preview section. By doing so, the preview window in the lower portion of the screen will give me a list of all the open invoices that add up to make that balance. If I want to know more about an individual invoice, I can double click on the, on the customer record. And now I have a list of the individual invoices that make up that balance. By doing this, I can actually go down and look at the actual customer or the invoice payment history on each one of those invoices. So even though this has an outstanding balance, of $229,000, I can tell it started off at $259,000 and we received two payments totaling $30,000 against that invoice. I can go back and now I'm back to the customer screen. I can look at the customer Shepherd Motor Works and from here I can look at who my contacts are if I wanted to do something to work on collecting on this invoice. If I go to American Business Features, I'll see more information about specific customers. I can also look at open orders for that customer. I can look at open RMAs. I can look at customer memos. And I can look at customer payments. All without having to go to a particular screen. If for, for a reason I wanted to modify information about American Business Features, I can go to the task section of the navigation pane and by clicking on customer maintenance the system will take me directly into the customer maintenance window so I can maintain this customer all while not leaving the Explorer view in the back. In addition to maintaining the customer I can enter an invoice. I can process a cash receipt. I can process a sales order in an RMA, however we need to process. I hope this has helped you gain a better understanding of some of the power found in the Business Insight Explorer. In future tips, we'll explore how to expand the use of the tool by filtering our results, customizing the columns and the data grids, 
working with charts, adding subtotals, and launching additional views. Was this video helpful? Click subscribe to see more videos like this one. Thank you.